Welcome aboard the Walder's New Product Express for April 2023. And no fool in, I've got an exciting lineup of new products to share with you. First up is a favorite for passenger and freight service. Want to see what it is? Let's dash ahead and get this video rolling. New from Walder's Mainline, the HO Scale General Electric 8 Series Diesels model locomotives that hauled freight and passenger trains from the late 1980s into the 21st century. A 4,000 horsepower prime mover made these locomotives favorites of Western railroads for racing hotshot freights along the Transcon Main. As built, the locomotives had standard width cabs. These were designated Dash 840B. Later, as regulations changed, full width safety cabs were required. This led to the development of the Dash 840BW. Part of the same series, the GE P32-8BWH hauled intercity passenger trains for Amtrak during the 1990s and 2000s. Most of the Amtrak P32s are still in service today, used either as yard switchers or backup power when a newer locomotive isn't available. Capturing the details of the Dash 8 series, these Walders mainline models are built around the best performing mechanism in the industry, the Walders Proto Drive. It's the exact same mechanism used on top-of-the-line Walders Proto locomotives. Likewise, these locos ride on RP25 Contour metal wheels and feature metal Protomax couplers. The models are available in standard DC versions or with factory-installed ESU sound and DCC. This latest run includes the P32-8BWH in Amtrak Phase 5, Phase 3, Phase 4, and Amtrak California paint schemes. The Dash 840B is available decorated for Santa Fe, Southern Pacific, and Union Pacific. And the 840BW is available decorated for Burlington Northern Santa Fe. Sticking with the modern era, next up is a mainstay of the contemporary railroad scene. The Walders Proto 23,000 gallon funnel flow tank car models a design first developed in the 1960s that remains very popular today. Funnel flow tank cars feature a design where the middle of the tank is slightly lower than the ends, creating a funnel effect for faster unloading. The Walders Proto model is based on a larger 54-foot prototype used for hauling a wide variety of liquid cargo that includes corn oil and feed additives, as well as petroleum products. The Walders Proto model bristles with all kinds of separately applied detail parts, including etched metal walkways and platforms, and factory installed handrails and grab irons. Manways and safety valves are accurately placed to match each road name. Each car rides on prototypically correct 36 scale inch RP25 wheels and features metal Protomax knuckle couplers. This run of 23,000 gallon funnel flow tankers is available in four numbers of each of the following schemes. Archer Daniels Midland, Cargill, Corn Products, Procore, Sunoco, and Union Tank Car Line. As with the tank cars, our next product is another rail fan favorite, if you've stood trackside recently, then surely you've seen long strings of these cars rolling down the main. Prototypes like the Thrall rebuilt 40-foot well cars our newest mainline release is modeled after carry single and double stacks from east and west coast ports to destinations across the country. These cars started out with 48-foot wells. However, as the 53-foot container became the preferred large container for domestic shipping, older well cars built to carry 48-foot boxes soon fell out of favor. In the early 2000s, freight car manufacturer Thrall embarked on a rebuilding program and shortened their older 48-footers to 40 feet. This made the cars more compatible with the latest preferred container lengths. Today, you'll often see these cars with 40 or 20-foot containers in the well and 53-foot containers on top. The Walder's mainline model captures the distinctive look of the prototype, including finely molded brake gear and the distinctive weld lines on the sills showing where the cars were shortened. Other separately applied details include IBC storage boxes and walkways. Available in single or five unit versions, these cars feature die cast metal frames. This extra weight ensures reliable tracking whether the cars are loaded or empty. Single cars ride on accurate 70 ton trucks with scale 33 inch RP25 metal wheels. 
five-unit cars feature correct 100 and 70-ton trucks with 33-inch and 36-inch wheels as appropriate. The five-unit cars are available decorated for BNSF Railway and Santa Fe leasing schemes and three TTX paint schemes. The single cars are available in five prototypical TTX schemes. Our final freight car this month is an improved version of a favorite Walder's Mainline Flat. First built in the 1950s and serving into the early 2000s, the General Steel Castings 53-foot flat car was widely used by railroads across the country. Featuring a one-piece body casting, these GSC flat cars proved highly versatile and carried all sorts of cargo, including machinery, lumber, steel products, rail, and building materials. Some examples can still be found in work train service today. The new Walders Mainline GSC 53-foot flat car now features an all-new die-cast metal body for reliable performance, whether loaded or empty. The model rides on correct 33-inch diameter wheels and features metal Protomax knuckle couplers. This new GSC General Service Flat is available decorated in four numbers for each of the following schemes. Burlington Northern, Conrail, Delaware and Hudson, Illinois Central, Minneapolis and St. Louis, Pennsylvania Railroad, Union Pacific, and Wabash. An undecorated version is also available. Now let's move from the main line to Main Street and check out some of the latest structures from Cornerstone. This month from Cornerstone, we have two new structure kits that are sure to be favorite spots in your HO scale suburban and small town scenes. The Bargain Depot is inspired by the dollar stores that anchor street corners and strip malls across America. The easy to build kit is molded in four colors and clear plastic. It features prototypical building details, including an air conditioner and gas and electric meters. A distinctive molded dollar sign signpost lets everyone know where to find a deal in your favorite HO scale town. The hardware and lumber store kit is appropriate for modeling the retail lumber businesses that first cropped up in the 1970s, as well as the big box home improvement stores of today. The kit is a great value and includes the main building, lumber shed, pallet racks, lumber stacks, as well as a prominent roadside sign. Like every Cornerstone kit, several details are included to help you complete the scene, including a rooftop air conditioner, trash cans, propane tank locker, and gas and electric meters. Both of these new Cornerstone businesses will be ready for a grand opening in fall 2023. Thank you for joining me for this edition of the Walders New Product Express. All of the products shown are available for pre-order from your favorite hobby shop. If you require any more information about any of the products shown, please visit walders.com or sign up for our free e-update newsletter. See you next time.